In one of my conversations with Paul, we speak every other day. I'm having a bit of a rant, as usual, about everybody not saying anything really of any substance. Something that gives me something back, that makes me think, oh, that's interesting. Listening to somebody else's story and experience. I like that. And so he said to me, what do you want? I'm like, I want to, to find some level of communication. I watched a video with Joe Rogan and Michael Pollan last night and it's about psychedelics. This Michael Pollan has wrote a book about psychedelics and uh, whilst he was writing the book he had, you know, I don't know, probably about half a dozen experiences, various acid, ayahuasca, DMT, psilocybin, so he could understand this psychedelic world. And because both of these people are intelligent, they're articulate, and they have a vast amount of information, then what a joy, really what a joy to listen to people like that. And so when Paul says to me, what do you want? I kind of want my own engagement on those levels. And for this past five years, I was crying like a pussy into the wilderness to see if there's anybody out there that wants to partake in this. And I set up a site and it cost me over a thousand quid and a lot of time and effort for people that want to speak with other like-minded people. Got about 50 people to take membership, but about three that could speak. About three that wanted to speak. About three that had anything to say. Okay, so there was a few more than that. But it felt about three, because they're so far and few between. I just kept looking at the site every day, nothing. Nothing, nothing. I put out a video requesting people to come and Skype with me. We can talk about anything, anything that you want to. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Until in the end I'm saying, look, I'm gonna walk away, guys. I'm just gonna walk away. I can't keep doing this every day. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I did walk away, didn't I? And I'll walk away again, that's what I'm saying. So when Paul says, what do you want? That's what I want. I want to get a group of friends, a group of associates who can engage in some deep, profound philosophy, psychology, spirituality. And then other friends can go, that was a great conversation. Maybe I can speak with that friend of yours or that viewer. Yes, that's what I want. But it, I don't know whether it's something about me that I just repel every single person almost. Other people seem to manage to be able to get people to come forward to have a conversation. Not me. Maybe that's my destiny, just to be crying all the time. So, Paul also told me um, about this, <laughs> this video that he watched and it was a beautiful analogy. What it was, it is about this um, old guy and it's set in the 1800s and you know when you used to have these old lanterns, these kerosene lanterns and so picture this, you got this old guy with like a, maybe a buckled top hat on or an old flat cap on and all these dark dingy threadbare clothes and his long nails all dirt underneath them and his wrinkled face and all his beard and the shit going down and he's walking around the town centre holding this lantern and he's looking like this and somebody comes up to him and they say what are you doing 
You crazy fool. And he replies, I'm looking for the human being. Anybody seen any? That's what I'm doing. I'm looking for human beings. I've done videos before about what is it to be a human being. Is a human being some torso with a head, got a brain, they can speak and um, they can say I'm a human being. Is that really a human being? Is a human being a catatonic? Is that a human being? Is a human being a mass murderer? When people go, oh, he's a monster! Is he a monster or is he a human being? His, is this creature which all twisted and contorted and, and, and like this and they can't communicate, is that a human being? What is a human being? I'll go a little bit further. People can look perfectly human and yet this doesn't work. Little more than an ape. This doesn't work. Little more than a parrot. Pretty Polly. Pretty Polly. Or a few other lines that have been talked and all they do all their lives is repeat. Is that a human being? Or is it a parrot that looks like a human being? Questions, questions, questions. You see? So what am I looking for? What have I come down here for? When I was up there and I'm waiting in line, I'm like, I'm gonna go to find the human being. Da -da 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 -da. What a challenge I've got on my hands. Finding one in 10 fucking million. That's my task on this planet. Finding the human being. Is there any out there? Hello? Hello? Any human beings?